Hey guys, it's Cameron here with Airgun Depot's Under Pressure, and today we're going to be taking a look at a gun that we've been talking about for quite a while, but we've had a little bit of a hard time getting into your guys' hands due to some manufacturing uh, delays and that kind of stuff. I'm talking, of course, about the Epox Badger. Now, this gun has been around now for about 18 months, but getting constant supply of them has kind of been hard, but sounds like Epox has kind of finally tackled those those challenges and we should be getting about 10 of these every two weeks or so so we should have a good constant supply of them through the summer um, we've prepaid for a whole bunch of units so you guys should be able to get these from us uh, now that they are becoming available so we wanted to do kind of an unboxing video and show you just what you're going to be getting in the package when you get your new badger we'll go ahead and set it up we'll do some accuracy testing and a few other things that i think you guys will like so let's go ahead and tear into this box here. I've already cut the tape on the one end, so let's go ahead and rip her open. They staple these boxes closed. Again, remember these are meant to be kind of a budget gun, so you're not gonna have any crazy, you know, fancy packaging or anything like that. Your gun will come wrapped in this foam to protect it in shipping. And of course, brown shipping tape uh, is all wrapped up in there. So we'll go ahead and start slicing this tape so we can get this gun open. And part of the reason that we want to do this, besides just showing you how, you know, these are basically packaged, is that a lot of people were getting these guns and saying, hey, there's no instructions in there. And they are in here, but um, they're kind of bubble wrapped inside. So you have, to, uh, you have to hunt for them a little bit. So go ahead and remove your foam wrapping. I'm gonna set that to the side. And then you've got your gun in just a basic poly bag here. And you'll see that the instructions are actually wrapped inside the poly bag. So if you just cut that foam and pull your gun out, you're going to leave the instructions inside and not know that they're in there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this gun out and we'll take a look at it. Alrighty guys, so we've got our gun all out of the packaging and wrapped. Of course our instructions are inside. I'm going to go ahead and set those aside for now. And let's start taking a look at the Epox Badger and what exactly makes this air gun so cool. The overall length of the Epox Badger is 46 and a half inches long with a barrel length of 28 and a quarter inches. It weighs in right around eight pounds without a scope on board. So the Epox Badger uses the stock and trigger pack from the industry brand QB78. The barrel and the air tube as well as the action and bolt are all US made. They're made out of steel, they are precision milled, and they're covered in a Cerakote coating to help protect them from the elements. It does also come with preset scope bases that can be adjusted by either moving them forward or back. The Badger is a single shot rifle and is only available in 40 caliber. It uses hard cast lead bullets that are available through us here at airgundepot.com. So the Badger is a fairly basic no frills package. There's really not a whole lot to be said about this gun because it's so simple. You fill it up with air, you cock the bolt handle, and you're ready to fire. The fill capacity on this rifle is a whopping 300 bar. Yep, that's right, 300. So this thing fills to just over 4,300 PSI. That's pretty high pressures for most air guns. You don't really see a lot of guns that you're gonna fill quite up to that capacity, but being that this is such a basic gun, it needs that high pressure to be able to get the full power shots out of it. So in our testing, we found that this is really just about a three shot gun. You're not gonna get that many more shots out of it. It does take a lot of air and it definitely has some hammer bounce. Again, this is a very basic design, guys. It pretty much works on the same principle as the standard QB or like, uh, Maximus or QB Chief, it's just blown up. It's a lot bigger than that 40 caliber. Uh, with this barrel, you're going to want to use either a 401 caliber slug if you're using a conical slug, or you can use round balls. They need to be sized down a little bit to about a 395 to work in here properly. Um, but again, with the 401 caliber slugs, you're going to see your best results with grain weights between about 95 grains and about 250 grains. That's what this barrel is set up for. Guys, let's go ahead and take a look at our accuracy here with the Badger. We set this up on our 50 yard indoor range and we took five shots each with a 219 grain slug, a 232 grain slug, and a 252 grain slug. Again, at that 50 yard range, seeing what we could do for accuracy. Now you can definitely see some shift in these um, because of the different weights. It's gonna make some point of impact shift, but accuracy is pretty respectable. We found this gun to be really flat shooting. Um, even out to 100 yards, you're not gonna really have to do too much hold variation. Uh, to you know lob your shots in there. So this is a really great gun for hunting It's really what it's designed for. I mean, it's not going to be the fastest for follow-up shots 
it's meant to hit hard once and pass through your game animal and then you know effectively take that animal so to demonstrate the uh, power of this gun we took it out to the desert and we set up a few water jug tests firing a few slugs at 50 yards and also at 100 yards into some jugs of water to see what kind of penetration we can expect let's go ahead and take a look at what this badger can do on our water jug test yeah. all right guys we're out here in the desert doing some testing with the old badger and i have to say standing out here in this field with this big old long rifle I kind of feel like Jim Bridger out here with his old smoke pole getting ready to hunt some elk or something. But we're going to do some penetration tests. We've got four gallons of water set up downrange at 50 yards. So it's a 50 yard penetration test. All right, guys, 219 grain, semi wide cutter, 50 yard water jug test. Here we go. That was a good hit, guys. Let's go down and see what we got. All right, guys, we got down here. There's a big slick of mud everywhere. I went to go pick up our first jug, tipped it over and poured water all over myself. So now I am soaking wet. But as you can see, it went through our first jug, cleaned through, left a big old hole in the back. Went through our second jug, split that one, and almost nothing left in that one. And of course, our third jug, and split that one open. So all three at 50 yards with the 219 grain slug. We're gonna take another 219 grain slug, but we're gonna move this table back another 50 yards. So we're gonna do a 100 yard penetration test so that you can show you just how powerful this Badger is. This is a great rifle, guys. I'm thoroughly impressed. Went through those without even having to try. I'm soaking wet. Let's move this table back and try it again. Ooh, guys, we hit it. I'm not sure if we hit it straight on. I think we might have, uh, yeah, I think we might have hit the side, but let's go down and take a look and see uh, what we got. I see water dripping. All right, guys. Well, it was a good shot, sort of. So it uh, looks like I was standing just a little bit off center of the jugs. So I actually didn't hit the first two. I grazed number three, tore that one wide open made a, a big entry and an exit on uh, number four and pretty much drained that one completely. And then same thing on number five, you got an exit and an entry. So went through three jugs again, although it kind of went through sideways, kind of skewampus, but that's still, that's quite a lot of water to have to go through. So even at a hundred yards, guys, you can see that this 40 caliber it's no joke, this thing is really putting down some power. Which proves my good buddy Jim Chapman's point when he says that this is one of his all-time favorite hunting air rifles. I would have to agree with him. Guys, this thing shoots pretty flat. I was actually surprised at how little I had to hold over to connect at 100 yards. Uh, usually like with, say, like a 45 cal Texan or like a 50 cal Dragonclaw, from 50 to 100 yards, you're gonna have to add quite a bit of holdover. But with this 40 cal, it's about half as much holdover. So your holdover dope is not gonna be as much, which means you're gonna have flatter shots, which means you're gonna be able to shoot more accurately at unknown distances. So there is some advantages that you have with a smaller 40 cal slug opposed to the big ones. Yes, you do give up a little bit in foot pounds, but you're picking up a little bit flatter trajectory. So guys, that was our water jug test. We're gonna get out of here and get back in the studio and we will catch you guys back there to wrap this video up. So guys, I'm pretty impressed with the little badger. I mean, overall, it's a pretty basic no frills gun. I mean, there's not a lot to, to show about it. it. It's a single shot air rifle. It shoots lead bullets and it, it makes good power and it's fairly accurate. So really what more could you ask for other than maybe like a multi-shot breach or something like that. But this gun's not really designed for that. It was designed with the budget hunter in mind. So you can pick this gun up usually for you know anywhere from $150 to $200 less than other big bores of similar power. So saves you a little bit of money. Click the link in the description below if you're interested in a Badger. We can get you set up on a pre-order. We get them out as quick as we can. 
And if you have any questions or anything like that, be sure to leave them in the comments. I usually stick around for a couple days after we release a video to answer any questions or you know any comments that you might leave. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this quick little video of the Epox Badger. Again, my name is Cameron with Airgun Depots Under Pressure. Make sure to share this video with your friends. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. You know what the problem with the world today is, Alex? What? No one drinks the blood of their enemies anymore.